Hello, this is Thomas. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model a nut with the thread inside. So it can be a tricky part because the thread itself is often subject to some topology distortion, especially in this area at the beginning of the thread. So I'm going to show you my approach to make it look perfect. So let's get started. All right, so let's create a cylinder with 32 sides. Go into edit mode with pressing tab, 3, select this face, inset, you can raise it a little bit. Grow the selection by hitting Ctrl plus on your numpad, invert it by pressing Ctrl i and delete. Now go to top view, we are going to draw the shape of the nut with the help of the knife tool. You can find it here or with the the shortcut shift k so draw some straight lines like so all right press enter select the center face press ctrl plus to draw the selection invert it and delete we can inset this face once more and delete it this is what we are left with so now we are going to give the nut some thickness. So press uh, Shift Alt left click on the border, E Z and S Z zero to make it flat. With the help of the snapping tool right here, or by pressing Shift Tab, we are going to select this border, E Z and snap at the bottom. Select this border, right click. And bridge. So this is the base shape of the nut. Now let's add some bevels. So you can go to select, select sharp edges and Control B and if you go too far as you can see the bevels uh, are intersecting so you can press C to clump and now I can't go any further but I don't want them to, to get too close. So I am going to make them like that. Add a bunch of rows here. Three is enough. Add one here and one here. Okay. So now let's take care of the inside. So let's press three to go to face mode. Shift Alt left click and press P to separate by selection. So now they are two different objects. Shift H to isolate it. Okay, let's add some edges now here. I'm going to split this uh, center edge by pressing Alt M and split faces by edges. I select it, I press um, proportional editing with connected only and I can do GZ and move everything up until the vertices aligns. So I'm going to press A to select everything, 1, M and merge by distance. So now to create that pattern I am going to select this edge and this edge, F to fill, do the same at the top, okay. I disable uh, proportional editing, I select this border, E, Z, S, Z, 0 to make it flat. Let's do the same at the bottom, okay. And now I am going to select everything everything but this edge and this edge. I add a bevel with a with one segment like so. I press 3 to, conf to convert uh, into faces. I deselect this uh, small triangle and this one as well. And, and what I can do now is extrude along the normals. So I press E, right click and, and press Alt S. So I'm going to, pr to to extrude outwards, so like so. We can delete these two triangles 
I select this edge and this edge, GG to slide them away, connect these two vertices and do the same at the top, GG and boom. And what I can do now is to add a loop here. So this triangle is not a triangle anymore because it has uh, four vertices. And I'm going to sharpen the, the, scr the, the screw pattern by selecting uh, this loop and press GG towards the bottom and do the same with this one towards the top. Sorry, like this. Okay, and if I press uh, right click Shade Smooth and add a subdivision surface modifier, as we can see, there are no uh, distortions. What we can do now is unhide everything and adjust the height of the, the interior part. So first I am going to do origin, origin to geometry, SZ, like so and i'm going to m to to make the two objects uh, uh one object so i select everything press ctrl j and i am going to uh bridge this little gap with right click bridge edge group and i can delete this one and do the same at the bottom. Bridge and delete. And that's it. We have our perfect um, nut with no shading issue. As you can see, it's perfect. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. I will see you in the next one. Bye.